Welcome, welcome to a game on Autumn Leaves between Smurf and a Twisted Mind. I'm Smurf. Human versus Night Elf. One of the matchups that, well, a lot of uh, a lot of community members were concerned about, based in the last patch, saying that the Night Elf versus Human matchup could be changed dramatically with the addition of, well, a Sundering Blades being uh, being a bit different in how it works, not needing upgrades, and also Mountain Giants losing that second taunt, um, but at the same time also reducing the cooldown of of uh, that taunt as well. Yes, Smurf is blue, little blue people all over the world. Um, as we're looking at an uh, well, Ancient of War off over here, with Altar of Elders being delayed. So it is gonna be a Tavern Hero. Gonna go ahead and speed things up to the two minute mark just a little bit um, as well, people watching YouTube, well, don't look at the length of this game, but you probably already noticed it. All right gonna go ahead and come nice. back around altar of elders is gonna be finished off over here archmage already making its way out footmen also running out as well and we are going to be clearing out some creep camps here now um, not many easily clear creep camps on autumn leaves to get to level two quickly even with militia clearing this actually goes back to a bit more of i would say reign of chaos maps map styles where you have to clear out two green creep camps in order to get to level two. I actually like the pacing of, of this a bit more than trying to go after an, an orange creep camp that's just stronger than a 533. It, it feels like it gives humans a bit too much of an advantage or night elves too much of, of an advantage to Ancient of War creep or just Militia creep. Go to the mic, isn't picking up your voice well? When I get further away, I, um, I don't... Okay. Uh, did they change my game? Did my ki Are my kids playing uh, playing with my... Um, playing with my microphones and stuff? Oh, a little unfortunate. My apologies. I will try and well, stay right here. As... Is it have engaged the, the cable? Alright. Well, thank you for that bit of information, Flynn. Beastmaster opening up with bears and archers and I'm gonna easily clear out these creep camps here Beastmaster actually a little bit behind in terms of the creeping creeping pace meanwhile twisted mind going after the ogre magi this 533 creep camp and will be staying at level three here but or staying at level two here but should be able to set up an expansion if he actually wants he does have 18 workers so i am expecting an expansion right here do we see a lumber mill we do and this might be one of those strategies where human players um, can actually go for expansions much earlier now that they have access to advanced lumber harvesting early on so having access to that advanced lumber harvesting it does take the place of the amount of workers you need on lumber as we're looking at a bear quickly while running on by here all uh, right twisted mind doesn't want to reveal the fact that he has an expansion as that bear now wanders the other way back towards this dire frost wolf creep camp they probably practice they're probably practicing casting <laughs> maybe maybe wild striker uh, arch archers or bears now making their way Our back off to the north here arch desert. archmage coming back down to the south here ancient of wonders getting pressured a bit footman no defend we're looking off to the north no and no lumber harvesting upgrades either as the water elemental perhaps going to turn back around no just absorbing a lot of damage um, how many arrows does it take to destroy a giant pool of water that is standing I don't know how that even works with physics, as it looks as though one footman going to get taken out easily, but it is denied. A great play by Twisted Mind denying that footman there, as the units are now making their way back off to the north. Archers still letting those arrows fly, and a beautiful deny once more. Twisted Mind doing a good job keeping the experience. Oh, nope, not good enough right there. A split second too early. 
allowing that um, archer to get the final bit of damage. All right, Archmage trying to finish off this Tree of Life here. Doesn't have enough mana for a Water Elemental just quite yet. This poor Footman is just going to end up getting taken out. And is it going to give enough experience? Yes, level 3 on the Beastmaster, pretty much on the dot. And whatever advantage that, well, Twisted Mind thought he had, well, he needs to make up for it now as his opponent has the level or has the level advantage, even though he has the economic advantage. Dot, like, daughters, you mean? Yeah, like... I have three girls, yeah. and the, they they recognize when I when I was actually playing Warcraft three. They're like, "Wait, you're at, you're playing today? Can we watch?" All right, back off to the north here, Archmage. I'm perhaps gonna go ahead and retreat back. We are looking at a tree of life coming back across as well. Thirty six supply compared to twenty seven. However, the army supply um, of of Twisted Mine, uh, well. He does have double barracks. That is the reason why it looks as though he has more more units out on the field than he really does. We are getting up a blacksmith as well. Tech to tier two should be getting started. Um, and I don't know how much lumber is actually being gathered here. Hold on, let's see. Oh, still no and no advanced lumber as of yet. Uh, no, there you go. And nope, improved masonry instead. All right, Naga Sea, which already out onto the battlefield, and this is what happens when you have a faster tech to tier, when you a tech to tier two, and if you want to try and put pressure on your opponent's expansion, you now have two heroes in play. Blacksmith going to quickly get cleaned up here. Arcane Tower should actually be targeting the Beastmaster, but now well, t going after that Raging Bear as we are getting some repairs across the board. The faster repair rate making it very difficult for archers to just focus fire that guard tower there as the units are now walking back. Archmage still doing a bit of work himself, sitting at level 3, level 2 water elemental. Footman now with defend should be able to easily handle this mainly archer army. There, yes, the Beastmaster, the Bears are all here as well. Units are going to continue to retreat back once more. Archmage going to come back around as an item. What is that? Belt of Giant Strength picked up there. Archmage, where is he going to go after? Trying to go after the Bear there. Very low hit point footman down to four hit points. Again, going to get attacked in the back once more as the Naga Sea Witch, well, tries to head home. All right, where are those footmen going? They're hiding off to the side here. What is the point of having a larger army or a decent sized army if they're not actually engaging in the fight? It looks as though the Tree of Life is going to come online. Goblin Zeppelin is going to go ahead and pick up. Are they going to try and drop inside the base here? One footman not getting the memo that it should be trying to, well, engage in this battle. Research. Meanwhile, all the archers and dryads are already in position here to try and, well, stop any disruption on this mining attempt. The sleeper has awakened. I'll have the perfect 4v4 quote in in a couple years. I, I don't think so. Um, well, what my youngest is not even two years old yet. So in a couple years, um, I, 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 I don't know. All right, Archmage. Can I, what? Archmage picks up, gonna go ahead and leave. Water Elemental left behind, gonna give more experience again to the Beastmaster. Should actually go after the Beastmaster, stop that Clarity Potion. Uh, cold Arrows, yeah, I guess that makes sense. That's Naga Sea, which is Cold Arrows, making that Water Elemental move a little bit slower. Coming back down across, Archmage dropping in some Water Elementals here, gonna try and finish off an Ancient of Lore. Goblin Shredder amongst all of these units, even the Tree of Eternity is attacking back. Footmen should or do have the Fen, they are not throwing it up as all of the damage is getting added up onto the Goblin Shredder instead. Goblin Shredder picked up Elevator and lifted to the backside here as we could be looking at perhaps a Scroll of Town Portal to head away. Water Elemental is going to try and fight back. Yes, it will as the Goblin Zeppelin picking up the remainder of the crew and now backing up. However, Naga Sea Witch gets to level 2. Coming back around, we should be looking at, well, a Mount, oh no, Blood Mage as the second hero. All right, interesting choice to get Blood Mage as the second hero over the Mountain King. Um, I am curious about that and how the Blood Mage is going to play out. Bears are also joining in on a couple. I've noticed that Americans often use a couple to mean a random number that is more than two. So, um, maybe that's what Crab meant. Blood, yeah. Yeah, like a f like like oh, I, I have a few is like generally two to three, 
and then couple is like f a four or five, all right? But then you also know a couple is two people, so that that just I don't know. That yeah, I know it can get confusing. Bear mastery training nearly done. Gonna go ahead and try and l pick up that last footman there and retreat back, but was able to force a scroll of town portal. Nicely done here. New ancient of lore trying to be rebuilt. That's gonna get canceled as well as the goblin zeppelin picking up all of those units and retreating back. Goblin zeppelin now slowed down and well has no nowhere really to go. Blood mage is out on the battlefield here. What ability first? It is gonna be siphon mana. And, well, Siphon Mana going up against a Beastmaster and a Naga Sea Witch. Not quite sure what Twisted Mind has in Our mind here. Normally, you don't really need to Siphon Mana all that much as long as you're dispelling or taking care of these other units. All right, Wisp getting taken out here. Ancient of Lore trying to repair. Mastery training is now done, but a second Ancient of Lore getting taken out. Is the bear going to be able to get picked up? Yes, it is. As the bear... As the... No not, no, not the bear. The footman able to get picked up there. Coming back around here, though, the Naga Sea Witch is going to try and get to level 3. Just a little bit shy, but does pick up some useful healing wards as well. All right, taking down both Ancient of Lores, it really shutting down um, Wayfarers. Um, any long-term, uh, um, well, um, any real strategy to try and train up units. With this, Twisted Mind was also able to bank up a large amount of gold, knowing that he doesn't need a large a large presence as of yet Our we're getting workshops a workshop with mortar teams we are getting up sorceresses and priests as well and we could be going into some riflemen at, in, in addition right behind us twisted mind sitting on a 58 over 60 supply army as we are getting up to level two advanced masonry or the Our advanced masonry upgrade further increasing the hit points um, of those buildings is he going into tier going yeah, into the tier two he could eventually go into tier three as well and now finally building up additional farms Your in addition to everything else and now speed building a the griffin aviary all right blood mage water elemental should have dropped perhaps a, a water ele elemental down and not available sorceresses and priests joining in on the fight right here Archmage now finally has a bit of mana. Footman taking quite a bit of damage here. Archmage really needs to get to level 4 as the Priests are going to be running quite a, out of mana as well. We are also looking at the Priests who have a, well, a good um, um, or already have mastery training. So Inner Fire is perhaps already on the table for this particular army here as we see the Paladin as that third hero with that very impressive burst heal. Research finished. All right, we're going into the corners of Autumn Leaves now, finishing off the remainders of the creep camp here. 72 supply over 78. The army doesn't really seem that large, um, as a lot of those units are actually currently in, uh, in training, as we are also going into animal war training, not for knights, but for griffins to handle the bears. We do see mortar teams as well. Mortar oh, teams incredibly powerful against those dryads. And, and as the dryads, well, if they stay, stay too still, they'll end up taking a lot of splash damage from those mortar teams. And that burst damage does really start to add up. Uh, we're looking at the Beastmaster Nagasi, which going after a pretty difficult creep camp here in this granite golem location. Granite Golem, however, are just beating up on the on the summon bears as opposed to the actual druids of the claw. And this should give level four to the Naga Sea Witch. Also giving claws of attack oh, plus twelve. Down. That damage on that Naga Sea Witch will add up very quickly. Coming back through, guard towers are all here. Good job purposely not going beyond the tree lines at all. Um, as the bears are simply going to try to walk on by. Meanwhile, coming in from the back here, there's Flame Strike. Ogre Magi is going to get some Siphon Mana. No, no Siphon Mana. Not quite sure why not. Um, no, yeah, not, not not quite sure why not. As the bears are now taking a little bit of damage as the well, Ultra of Kings getting added up here. Are we going to look at a big fight? 
no mortar team's just gonna say, you know what, I'm just gonna flat up destroy your entangled gold mine and you are going to, well, lose your expansion. Are you gonna try and come back and save this as the mortar teams, well, four mortar teams damage already finishing off that building so quickly. Arcane Vault gonna end up falling. Are we gonna see a scroll of town portal to retreat back? No, we are not. One mortar team left behind right there as the Archmage says, you know what, I'll, yeah, I'll let you take down on some of these buildings. I'll let you try and engage here. We have a level 7 armor, and now, finally, one bear going to get taken out as more units are retreating back. Paladin is there. Griffins are joining in on the fight. Are we going to see perhaps some flame strikes, anything of that nature? The, the Divine Shield on the Paladin keeps him alive a little while longer. Bear Scroll of Healing as all the units are trying to retreat back once more. All right, there goes another bear as well. Scroll of Town Portal whisking everyone away. Meanwhile, the mortar team right here, one mortar team with a goblin zeppelin, just constantly stopping this gold, entangled gold mine. Nope, mortar team trying to regroup now once more as the griffin, well, needs to be careful not to take too much damage. Our, we're looking at the, well, the army of um, Smurf looking to heal up and then re-engage. 74 supply compared to 91. We are in high upkeep. High Twisted Mind. Twisted Mind wants to finish this game and he, well, he, if he's trying to finish this game he should be attacking, not just sitting in high upkeep, mining off of three bases. Alright, if he halted his mining, that would also make sense as well, as you don't want um, that gold to just be permanently lost in, lost in upkeep taxes along the way all right nope nothing there as the mortar teams continuing to wander around 91 supply building up a new arcane vault i think he forgot he needs those for spell breakers building up arcane vaults across the board finishing off there's a little slug flinger getting finished off right there Tome of agility blood mage sitting at level two very close to level three um arch mage sitting at four and well no no one really wanting that tome of agility since there's no agility based heroes for humans all right, front line is pretty cautious here. Tome of retraining, and it is going to be Blizzard and Flame Strike to try and zone out you um, zone out the bears and those archers. Front line going to be very difficult um, for their opponents as the spellbreakers can stand in the fire and the fl uh, in the fire and the storm without taking any damage. All right, let's go at it here. Going to finish off these buildings. Buildings do give experience. One round of attack. There goes building after building. And this might actually come as a bit of a surprise. Level 3 now on the Blood Mage. Mortar teams finishing off these buildings. And there it goes. Damage on these buildings getting destroyed so quickly. Are we going to see a scroll of Town Portal? No, they're just simply walking back. But the damage is getting added up so fast. Going after the Moonwells would actually be the next important thing here. As Moonwells represent healing as well. All right, more Mortar teams are right there. There goes some more building. Then the destruction is just so, so heavy as more mortar teams trying to lob attacks again and again. Mortar teams, where are they going to go next? Perhaps take down the ancient, more of those ancients as well. But they need to actually engage against the dryads in the backside. There's a flame strike. There is a blizzard. And look at all of that damage just getting thrown down on the druids of the claw who are able to finally back up healing wards. However, counteracting as we see that they're quickly dispelled as well. All right, 81 supply compared to 77. Mortar teams are in that back side with no real problem. Scroll of Healing trying to deal a little bit more. More mortar team damage getting added in again. Siphon mana, removing mana from that Beastmaster. As we could be looking at another flame strike go down. The bears absorbing a lot of damage again. 71 supply compared to 69. Mortar teams have been able to freely attack and engage constantly. There goes the Naga Sea Witch as the Beastmaster trying to save this base siphon mana away once more as the bears well bears where are they going to try and re retreat back off to archmage now seeing that level five so level three blizzard is on the table going after all of those units flame striking his own mortar team so two units getting flame strike down what is going on why would you flame strike your own mortar teams you had the advantage and now that was pretty much lost right there they, uh, well, Hippogriffs going after the units now. No Staff of Sanctuary. And that may have been, well, sticking around in a fight a bit too long. Losing all of that right there. Are we going to see some Flame Strike? There's some Blizzard going back down um, as well. But I, I don't know. That, that seemed questionable as the Beastmaster got to level 6 in that exchange. All right, Paladin 
now in a bit of a uh, well in a bit of pain as well hippogriffs are all in the air making sure that well those griffins are not going to be able to make as strong of a play 70 over 100 supply knights are getting added in to the battle here we don't see any griffins getting trained priest and priest getting trained up 20 47 supply army by twisted mind but looking at the army is it back out on the field yeah okay there's two knights one mortar team or two mortar teams we, there were so many mortar teams earlier and now wayfarer has to uh, rebuild Sacred his entire infrastructure as he lost so many moon wells and so many production buildings meanwhile during this time it looks as though tree of life going to get taken down knight's going to be able to finish it off and their mortar teams build, living build, up build. to their uh, name as building destroyers able to finish things off there blizzard now going down flame strike but the mortar teams are now need to retreat back out all right a lot of blizzard coming down as well as the blood mage gets up to level four mortar teams no staff of sanctuary and twisted mind maybe re uh, well kicking himself later as the staff of sanctuaries would have definitely saved plenty of units already blood uh, beastmaster seeing that level six does have thunder lizards um, as the ultimate ability but has not had the mana to really go after that as of yet all right looking to finish things off taking down an additional near or full full moon well will deny a bit more hit points again uh, all right thank you for the, thank you for that host and i think that was the first time i actually saw a host in a while meanwhile coming back down to the south here staff of preservation um well why would you staff of preservation oh, okay that doesn't make sense but all right staff of preservation there no mining here we are mining at multiple or main base mined out this expansion has about five minutes of mining left as well and we are looking at staff of sanctuary finally on the archmage after all this time meanwhile what is interesting is if this does become a battle of attrition well thunder lizards coupled with um tornado are incredibly impressive at dealing damage to buildings all right wisp gonna get taken out here oh wait flame strike what was that about all right an um, easy way to burn 125 mana as we're looking at the ancient of wind about to get taken down here all right in comes the engagement are we going to see a flame strike mortar teams trying to make their way on through knights joining in on the battle flame strike this is why you have spell breakers as well that was sanctuary saving that knight right there mortar team not getting a well mortar team not realizing that it should go around the far side as we're looking at more siphon mana again blizzard still trying to rain down here flame strike still th getting thrown down as knight could get caught in that battle here where is it going to go getting healed back up as the bears are trying to split up every which way all right low hit point knight low hit point priest getting taken down 72 supply compared to 48 level four now on the paladin as no easy way to snipe down those druids of the claw blood mage perhaps going to get ready to throw down some flame strikes here there's blizzard there's flame strike splitting the difference between those two buildings and making sure that the ancient of wonder gets taken down quickly Archmage looking to put pressure on to more production buildings, slowing the reinforcements of Smurf as we're still looking to fight again here. Paladin, however, could be in a bit of trouble. Cooldown, 45 seconds. Is it going to get saved? No, it is not. It gets taken out and the Paladin falls at level 4. Scroll of Town Portal now being used in order to, well, head back home easily as we see a group of peasants hiding by a gold mine here perhaps waiting to see if there they should build towers or stop any other expansion attempts 45 supply compared to 80 hero level 544 going up against a 65 and somehow smurf is still am hanging on by his fingertips in this game Bear is still getting trained up. Um, we see units getting are actually doubly or triply queued in the Ancient of Lore. Um, that's because one real production building right now. You don't need any more hippogriffs for this next fight. Meanwhile, knights, are they going to try and perhaps take down this Tree of Eternity? Yes, they are, as the Archmage is here as well. And here we go into a battle of well, Flame Strike and Blizzard 
that one Dire Quill Beast taking quite a bit of damage as the Sundering Blades of um, the Knights could easily deal damage to those Dire Quill Beasts there. All right, are we going to see some repairs? There's Blizzard already coming back around the backside here. Wisp, if, even if they try to leave, they are not going to be able to get in a lot of repairs as we saw the Blizzard actually destroy them right there. The Tree Fraternity finally goes down. Archmage is in trouble though, and it gets shut down. All three human heroes are gone. All the heroes are gone. Rejuvenation stolen and, and transferred back over to the Knights though. 70 supply army compared to 50, but there are no heroes. So any units that are killed by the human army don't give any experience whatsoever. I think Twisted Mind thought if I remove the last tree of eternity, well, that should be enough to win out here. But, well, the, the question is going to be, are, is the hero experience and the Naga Sea Witch getting to level 6 going to be a big enough difference? There it is, level 6 now on the Naga Sea Witch. We have Thunder Lizards and Tornado for terrible, terrible building damage destruction. All right, trying to fight it through 49 supply compared to 44. Re uh, Priest not having that much more mana either. And Twisted Mind apparently living up to his name, having a bit, um, well, a bit of a Twisted Mind here in this fight. 100 and well, training up more gold. Are we yes, finally resurrecting the Blood Mage after all this time? What is going on? Mining from multiple bases, Staff of Preservation. Which is gonna take down one bear and well way well way smurf does have um a, have enough gold to try and continue with this battle naga sea which is gonna go after cold arrows that is the question here as we are looking at a bunch of hippogriffs in the air who really can't do anything all right druid of the claw perhaps they should be regenerating mana to heal back up down to the south here a bunch of low hit point druids of the claw yeah those should all be in bear form or in in druid form and then trying to get a bunch of heal staff of preservation saves right there and yeah they should all be trying to heal up down here at those moon wells all right spellbreakers making their way down resurrecting at the tavern Archmage sitting at level 5 and well the Archmage could also try and heal up some additional units Staff of Preservation or Sanctuary onto that um, onto that Paladin immediately to get him back up to full hit points. Alright, Beastmaster. Archmage could be in trouble. Archmage uses a potion of healing quickly. Priests are trying to heal. There's that inner fire and the Archmage is now hiding underneath all of his towers. A blinking, bashing bear though. Archmage could be in trouble. The blinking bear finding the Archmage down to 96 hit points archmage gets taken down again and the blinking bear finding and clawing its way onto that archmage and that is just so powerful indeed beastmaster also with a ring of protection a little bit of additional healing paladin shows up and says what happened to my archmage unable to get a holy light to try and save that okay druid of the claw gonna get taken down here paladin sitting at level four blood mage sitting at level four archmage getting resurrected as we are looking at peasants trying to stop this tree of life meanwhile down to the south here twisted mind says you know what um i'm playing sim city what are you playing smurf as we're looking at another base being set up by twisted mind all right so I guess this is going to be a two-base Night Elf going up against a four-base human. And who is going to win out so far? Um, if you're looking for racial balance, I do not recommend it using this game to determine which race is stronger. And Twisted Mind making some questionable plays and decisions perhaps to the finish line and then running out of gas to cross it. Blood Mage right there coming across is he going to be able to throw down a flame strike in the back from the back here i don't think oh he's clearing up the trees to try and get into position but the hippogriffs are going to spot this all and then say you know what there really is no surprise whatsoever bears beastmaster naga sea which gonna say hey i'm here are we gonna see a bash from that spirit bear as well there is that bash as the um, Blood Mage well, gets another bash again. Staff of Sanctuary saves it as the Gold Mine finally entangled and Smurf now should be able to get a little bit more gold again. 
coming back through. Oh, there's that bashing bear. Nope, doesn't finish off that priest. Needs one more shot. And yes, the quill of the quill beast, 39 to 45 damage. Plus the um, plus the Warsong Battle Drum, 7% damage bonus as the Naga Sea Witch still retreats back here. Went for level 3 Fork Lightning and level 3 Cold Arrows instead of Monsoon. Or Tornado, excuse me, as we're looking at the bear now blinking its way in. All right, no real gold mining down here, only in the top left and bottom right. 9,000 gold there, about 15 minutes of mining, or 16 minutes, 9,600 gold. Meanwhile, off to the top here, well, Tome of Intelligence plus two. Come on, Archmage, pick it up, pick it up. Do you ah, see it? Nope, does outdoors. not. Oh, he does see it. All right, maybe tw Twisted Mind. Well, I guess you have to be Twisted Mind to read tomes here in Warcraft 3. Coming back around. Archmage throwing down the blizzard, knowing that that damage adds up really quick. There goes the flame strike. There goes a the mortar team. Repairs not going to be really useful as the as the wisp trying to retreat back out. There it is. The wisp, however, able to go around the far side. Archmage could be in trouble. Archmage could get taken down, and it falls again. All right, a fall once more. The Tree of Life is constantly getting repaired. Mortar Team is there, and Twisted Mind is absolutely upset once more, losing not only the Archmage, but that Blood Mage for a second time. Wisp are still there repairing. Paladin is completely surrounded, and Twisted Mind just thinking that he can finish things off, unable to do so. All right, I, I, I don't know. At this stage in the game, I think Smurf should fully repair that Tree of Life. That seems like something, um, he, uh, a possibility he needs to be aware of. We are now looking at, well, Naga Sea Witch and the Beastmaster who can use um, Thunder Lizards and Tornado to destroy buildings extremely efficiently um as well beastmaster now coming back to the uh, back here are we gonna see it are we gonna see it do that uh, well doesn't use thunder lizards the proper way there's tornado now being used as well trying to destroy these buildings you really want to target the towers in the back an easier way to do it is you have your beastmaster stand here and then um cast thunder lizards this way the lizards will run from the back here and then just start doing damage onto all of those buildings all right there comes the tower building destruction right there, channeling, lasting as long as it possibly can as we are looking at the Goblin Shredder going to get taken down as well. All right, Thunder Lizards nearly destroying all of these and Twisted Minds like four bases versus zero. Yeah, no questionable decisions across the board. 36 supply now going up against 52, only having three heroes. Smurf is kind of laughing at the situation as well as the Beastmaster Naga Sea Witch just have to wait a little while longer to use their ultimate abilities again to destroy buildings. Arcane Vault down to the south here. Um, are they going to just try and Staff of Sanctuary their way back out? And he actually tipped his hand by saying, you know what, I have four bases. And, well, he goes like, oh, if you have four bases, that means you also have another base down across here. We are looking still. Where are these units going to go next? Oh, drinking from the moon wells, getting ready to go. Naga Sea Witch going to get a little bit more mana. Blinking, bashing bear, perhaps going to go behind enemy lines once more. And where are all of these units traveling off to? Priest now trying to make or regroup up with the heroes. Dryads are going to get in position. What a, a scroll of town portal also picked up. 58 supply compared to 45. There's a Tome of Agility plus two. And is anyone going to pick it up? Nope, Smurf. <laughs> the sacred text. All right. All right. No, oh, it looks like the hippogriffs were going, were going after the Dragonhawk Rider there. All right. Dryad's now looking to focus damage onto some of those priests who are trying to retreat back here. Easy to get some damage across all of these heroes. Slow poison, extremely effective. Hippogriffs going after the Dragonhawk Riders. Um, could, well, not quite sure why they're not going after the Dragonhawk Riders as the units are now making or going to regroup back off to the north. All right, Tornado cooldown already done. Thunder Lizard cooldown will be ready in, in, in about 30 seconds. Archmage, Blood Mage, all of these units trying to regroup here as we're going to be seeing one Hippogriff finally getting taken down. 
Uh, so far, though, Paladin coming back across. We're going to go into a slight engagement. Dragonhawk Riders going up against the Dryads. That's not going to be that good of a fight. Fort Lightning finishing off those units as the Archmage and Blood Mage getting slowed down just a bit. Could have focused it down, perhaps, as the Paladin getting caught on the wrong side again. Uh, so far, though... Uh, are we going to see the Beastmaster try and use those Thunder Lizards? Blizzard straight up right there. That's going to be quite tight. This nine, the Altar of Kings. But at what cost there as the Blood Mage gets taken out? All right. Money isn't everything. Um, as we are seeing in this fight here, Archmage down to, uh, well, 300 hit points. As we're going to see that um, Archmage try and get a Scroll of Town Portal out again. Beastmaster now getting up to level 9. A little bit of a departing gift on damage once more as the main castle will get taken down. Okay, Twisted Mine. I, I, I don't know. I, I, this is just perhaps the perfect name for, for the player who makes a number of questionable decisions when he seemed to have this game in the bag um, early on. Smurf of just um, playing playing um, a, a game where he just doesn't give up. I, I think um, right Twisted now. Mind just thought, you know what, I can let off the gas a little bit. I got this game in the bag, not realizing how powerful high-level heroes are, in fact. All right, once more, using the Thunder Lizard there. Oh, Naga Sea Witch. What, what was... Oh, it, it broke the... Um, it broke the... What's it called? use um the, the monsoon use that that actually it comes as a bit of a surprise there there's some more fork lightning there beastmaster still absorbing all of that damage and if smurf if you are watch if you ever watch for this remember you can have the beastmaster stand here and then turn around cast in this direction and the thunder lizards travel a shorter distance to in order to um well finish off those buildings um well tornado 83 second cooldown, Thunder Lizard, another 136 second cooldown, but those buildings are starting to get destroyed. Twisted, what do I have in this? Magmar, proceeds. Tip contents out of the bag. That pretty much feels exactly like that. I'm down to the south here. All right, Twisted Mind being forced to upgrade his town hall down to the south oh, to a uh, tier apple. two. Um, perhaps to get um well more items out of that arcane vault or be able to rebuild an arcane sanctum all of these buildings are just lost the griffin avery down to the south here training up dragon hawk riders isn't even that helpful as the hippogriffs um could perhaps shut them down alongside those dryads so far though um well what's interesting oh, now is outdoors. that um if by peer, if if Smurf just wants to finish off these buildings, to finish off the buildings, he will still get a good amount of experience as towers and do provide experience, as we all know. Naga, see which well, a little bit too far from that roar there. Going to continue this pressure once more. Two two upgrades across the board. Blinking bear now simply just diving on into this location. Remember me building 100 lumber mills all over the map when Twisted Mind is losing. <laughs> All right, coming back across here, Dryads finishing off all the buildings once more. Gold mine still has two and a half minutes of mining here. This gold mine has 5,000 gold left. All the rest of the other gold mines, well, 200 gold, yeah. Maybe a little bit of long distance mining could finish the job there. As we're looking at the Beastmaster finishing off the remaining guard towers and the rest of this expansion. All right, how much more experience can be given? Beastmaster sitting at level 9. Naga Sea Witch sitting at level 8. Even has Mana Shield. Um, Going to be very difficult to finish off this Naga Sea Witch indeed. And well, the damage on that Naga Sea Witch, what? 70 damage per attack. Um, and with only Claws of Attack plus 12. Meanwhile, Beastmaster with some very impressive damage as well. 93 damage plus that Orb of Venom. He has him having Belt of Giant Strength, Claws of Attack plus 5. Alright, where are these units going to perhaps try and travel off to? Animal War Training, Dragonhawk Rider does have, um, well, plenty of uh, supply here. 40 supply, also having Cannon Towers here. And... Is, is Twisted Mind's strategy to be, I'm going to be so well defended that you can't 
um, you can't really break into here with cannon towers going after those uh, dryads and in comes the damage there all right coming across the board beastmaster yeah this is one of those situations where you stand right here oh you stand right here and you cast thunder lizard this way oh nope you won't actually get the buildings oh you won't actually get the buildings that you're looking for all right there you go siphon mana fork lightning here you could be looking at more damage coming back across blood mage trying to retreat back damage on those thunder lizards are is exploding rather high there is that monsoon or tornado now making its way forward as more damage is getting added in all right i've said it well this was one of those strange situations where i said if the game went long the siege damage of the two neutral heroes would be far too much as we're looking at a couple more well damage getting added in onto those towers all right units are going to be trying to retreat back mass dragon hawk riders weren't even able to really engage at all as the archmage blood mage and paladin now venture forward all right here's the damage are they going to go after that archmage now gets up to level six fork lightning right there as the dragon hawk riders are trying to finish things off flame strike well onto the bears trying to get them to disrupt their position as blizzard also raining down as well 63 supply compared to 50 dragon hawk riders trying to finish off the remaining dryads and perhaps those quill beasts as well archmage blizzarding blizzy blizzarding nothing as the blood mage is standing in his own fire and flame taking quite a bit of damage units now trying to retreat back here staff of sanctuary trying to heal up those dragon hawk riders again and again yeah, some, someone should teach him how to use the Stampede spell. Uh. All right, Hippogriffs now retreating back again. Well, someone should remind me that it's not Thunder Lizards, it's Stampede. Thank you. Uh, the great All right, Beastmaster coming back to engage here. A Naga Sea Witch, plenty of mana. Where are they going to try and fight here? There's that Divine Shield. Dragonhawk Rider is going to try and engage back after 53 supply compared to 63. Um, Beastmaster, just take the time, get some mana, and then engage with your ultimate abilities um, as these towers are just going to start to slowly, slowly get destroyed here. More Quill Beast coming back across um, as we're looking at damage adding in again. And again, once more, Dragonhawk Rider is well, trying to retreat back still. That is a large amount of dragon hawk riders and that does cause problems no more mining here is the tree of life yeah heading off to the north to get that last 200 gold from that gold mine all right twisted mine still the only one mining any gold at this point 2600 gold are we gonna have every ounce of gold mined from this map that is the question uh, the all right out. so far go <laughs> Twisted Mind's like, you got gold? 150. <laughs> All right, Hippogriffs now getting added in again. Twisted Mind just wondering, how does he have so much gold? And that is, well, if your opponent has bears, the bears constantly retreat and are able to heal back up and get going once more. Tree of Life going to get an extra 200 gold out of this gold mine here. And what would then be interesting is we could have a, have a march of ants. The ancients can actually join in on the fight here and absorb damage and dish out damage as well. Dragonhawk Riders moving on through Archmage. Does he have mass teleport? No. Has level 3 Brilliance Aura for maximum mana as we're looking at the units getting ready to push forward again. No Mountain King means no easy way to stun either. And well... Can, will the Beastmaster learn, will properly use Stampede? That is the next question. All right, there it goes. There's Stampede. And in comes, the, in comes those Thunder Lizards running across the battlefield. Dragonhawk Riders could try and get some damage here. But the Thunder Lizards are just exploding onto these buildings and dealing damage more and more. Are they actually within range? No, outside of range of the Cannon Towers. So only the units and maybe the Griffin Aviary will actually get taken down. You can see... Um, you can see the damage just adding through it there. I think they're disappearing in time. There's a shackle and now going to go ahead and fight. There's multiple shackles going across the board. All of a sudden, Wayfarer is in, or Smurf is in trouble. Are they going to be able to finish it off? There's Blizzard across all of those Hippogriffs, and that could be a major shift right there. Smurf down to 66 supply and dropping quickly down to 58. And now Twisted Mind has the supply lead after all this time.
Archmage trying to retreat back here. Orb of Venom on the Beastmaster, allowing the attack onto the air units. Trying to, oh, Staff of Sanctuary. Archmage teleports into a very awkward position. Cannon Tower is getting damage. Archmage falls. Beastmaster now at level 9 as the Dragon Hawk Rider is trying to back away. 41 supply compared to 49. Level 10 now on that Beastmaster. Orb of Venom going after some of those units. Fork Lightning could add up more damage, and there you have it. More and more Dragon Hawk Riders are falling. 38 supply compared to 38. And I can't believe, even after all this time, this game is still not yet decided. Off to the north. That's a big joke. That staff. Well, you for you forgot. You forgot. All right, coming back through, mining more gold. Um, Dragon Hawk Riders now making their way through. Look at all of these wisps, right? Or look at all these moon wells. Just heal back up, and and yeah, just heal back up. Get engaged. Uh, uproot your ancients and then bring the battle over right just rejuvenate heal oh, come on you, you could have just drank a moon well and then right anyways all right spirit hawk joining in on the battle here going after there's some monsoon damage as well dragon hawk riders actually moving slower amongst all of that as we're looking at the monsoon or the tornado just still adding in more damage again and again trying to add in more damage onto those buildings bears continuing the fight the spirit hawk trying to finish off units here naga sea witch trying to back away it has more fork lightning and that's the problem trying to go well yeah i think the quill bees come on naga sea witch just go after those units finish them off one shot at a time the quill bees could easily why go after the paladin taking down three dragon hawk riders there and i think that is going to be the game now as we're looking at the bears finishing off and twisted mind saying the game that was so unfair hero kills wave um smurf with 12 hero kills um finishing off his opponent taking down hero after hero after hero a countless number of time resources twisted mind with almost double the amount of gold double the amount of gold if you consider gold mind um as yeah twisted mind just still not ha happy all right, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed that marathon of a match.